the Bitcoin ETF, realistic price prediction. Where will the Bitcoin ETF be in September? And where will it be around November? Realistic numbers using the mysterious world of Fibonacci circle analysis made more realistic and easier by Lux Algo signals and overlays. So we're going to use algorithmic work and we're going to use the mysterious Fibonacci circle analysis. The Lux Algo work makes the Fibonacci analysis more accessible to you in your work. But first, if you need a roadmap in crypto, subscribe to this channel. Turn on alerts so you know when we're going live. And if the content works for you, hit the like button. Please check out down below. We have a link to my Patreon where we have more advanced analysis and an affiliate link for Lux Algo, which you're going to be interested in by the time I'm done here. And by the way, I am your host, Bill Noble. Let's do this via live TA. So I'm going to draw it for you live. All right. So let's take out the Fibonacci circle analysis for the moment. Currently, the Bitcoin ETF, as of recording of this, July 24th, is trading around $36, $37. The theme of the moment is that equities are going lower and Bitcoin is going up because people have to move from expensive tech stocks over into more reasonably valued crypto ETFs. Now, let's discuss price prediction. One of the things that you want to do with Fibonacci circle analysis, and this is true of any type of GAN lines that you may draw or just regular Fibonacci retracement, extension, any of these things based on kind of a more mathematical or sort of ancient view of things. The most important idea, the most important detail is to try to come up with interesting and perhaps unseen levels to draw the analysis from. In other words, everybody can draw Fibonacci retracement, but can everybody see the hidden points for things like Fibonacci circle analysis, which is much more subjective? So with the Bitcoin ETF, let's begin with these green arrow boxes from Lux Algo signals and overlays. And it's, that's just exactly what it is. These are signals from a quantitative-based AI thinking where this will say, all right, you know, we want to buy and we want to sell here. So looking at IBIT, this is BlackRock's Bitcoin ETF. What do we notice? Like, what are the key points that we can use to do that analysis I discussed earlier? Well, since Bitcoin came out of the gate, the first big buy signal was probably around February. That's where Lux Algo went long initially. Then the next buy signal of interest, I think, was after this huge puke in July that led to a turnaround where Lux Algo gave a four signal. So this four signal right here, which I can try to blow up so you can see it, this four signal right here is Lux Algo going, oh yeah, time to get involved. And as you can see, that was a big gap move in Bitcoin. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to draw my Fibonacci circle analysis out that way. Because all you need for any Fibonacci analysis is you need to connect two points. Lux Algo tells you, hey, these might be the two points worth connecting. So Lux Algo signals and overlays is giving you a, a target of 42. That's one idea. However, with the Fibonacci circle analysis, it allows you to project out in time in a reasonable, realistic, mathematical way. So if you go to the outer edge of this circle, by the end of August, if the Bitcoin ETF really extends itself, it could go to 54. So from 36, let me see if I can get the percentage change there. Okay, from 37 to 54 is a 50% increase in the Bitcoin ETF that is theoretically possible by the end of August. Don't think it can happen? The dollar could go down. The Fed could cut rates. The Fed could get dovish. You could have political issues in the United States that make it obvious that an alternative form of money is necessary. 
Okay, so if you don't believe the Bitcoin ETF can go up 50% by August, you might believe that the Bitcoin ETF could go up 50% by November and hit 51. See, that's the outer edge of this Fibonacci circle. So if you use these important Lux Algo points, one, and two, you use Lux Algo, that yellow bar is from price action concepts. So think about what we're saying. One analysis shows upside at 54 or 51. This price action concepts support line, the yellow bar, shows support at 36.30. So you have a dollar and a half of downside and, you know, over $15 of upside. Wow. That's pretty good. So this is an example of putting, you know, kind of an esoteric or exotic indicator like Fibonacci circles together with Lux Algo because Lux Algo bottom line gave you the points to do that unusual analysis. Normally, you need very long-term charts to do this analysis with the circles, but now with Lux Algo, you don't. You can use it on a short-term chart, and frankly, you can do analysis that, I don't know, makes some fundamental sense. So for more on, more on Lux Algo, stay with the channel and visit the affiliate link down below.